Tonight on Duty, we review all of President Roosevelt's great successes up until this point. Hello people of America. Tonight on Duty, we'll be covering President Roosevelt's successful endeavors. Such as the square deal. Trust busting. Railroad regulation. Consumer protection. And conservation. Right now on the scene, we have Alexander Jackson Flaxen Wax and Tyrannosaurus Al Gooding Splat with our president, Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, well, thank you, John. I'm here with the President of the United States, Teddy Roosevelt, and we're just here talking about the Square Deal. Now, Mr. President, what motivated you to make the Square Deal? Well, you see, Alexander, about three years ago, there was a group of coal miners who decided that they didn't want to work anymore, and they decided to go on strike. And now, the troubled people of America were starting the question saying, what if we don't have any coal for the winter? We'll freeze to death. And I said, this can't happen. So I brought in a couple of the coal mine owners, and I brought in a couple of the coal miner union leaders. I brought them to the White House, and I sat down and I talked with them, and I said, you guys need to figure out a deal now, or I'm gonna send my federal troops to the coal mines, and I'm gonna take them over. Hmm. And after a couple of debates back and forth, they finally came to an agreement, and now all the coal miners have a 10% increase in wages, and nine hour work days, and everything's back to the way it was. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Now back to you, John. Thank you, Alex. President Teddy Roosevelt broke up several monopolies such as the Standard Oil Company and the Northern Securities Company using the Sherman Antitrust Act. The President and Congress have both passed the Elkins and Hepburn Acts. The Elkins Act gives the ICC, or Interstate Commerce Commission, greater authority to stop railroads from giving favored rebates to favored customers. Under the Hepburn Act, the Commission can fix just and reasonable rates for railroads. In order to protect consumers, the President and Congress passed the Pure Food and Drug Act, as well as the Meat Inspection Act. The Pure Food and Drug Act forbade the manufacture, sale, and transportation of adulterated or mislabeled foods and drugs. The Meat Inspection Act provided that federal regulators inspect meat packing plants to ensure that they meet the minimum standards of sanitation. Being an avid outdoorsman, Teddy Roosevelt passed many laws in order to conserve the natural wildlife. He used the Forest Reserve Act to set aside 150 million acres of land to natural reserves. He also passed the Newlands Reclamation Act, which provided money for the sale of land for irrigation projects in western states. The President also held many conferences on the subject of conservation at the White House. These led to the creation of the National Conservation Commission. Join us next time on Duty when we discuss why space aliens always seem to land in America. Take it. <laughs> we have Alexander. <laughs> just keep going, just keep going. We have. Just keep going. We have... <laughs> Stop laughing. Okay, okay.